been helping us, amen. That's right. right. He's yeah. really helped us this yes, week. Yes, he has. And I appreciate Praise this brother so much. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. Love you, Pastor. Amen. Love you too. Praise God. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank God the fire fell. Amen. Yeah. Thank God. Amen. Amen. My wife will testify. Say, she's getting ready. I haven't mentioned it, and uh, we uh, I have written a book, and uh, the only problem is my wife and I ran off and we forgot. <laughs> we thought about it when we was hundreds of miles <laughs> on the journey. I always take uh, my book with me. Uh, it's the first book that I published and uh, have it available. You can uh, get it. You can buy it on, uh, you can buy a digital copy if you have a, one of these things on Amazon. Uh, you can buy a Kindle version and all of that. I think you can buy it on iBooks and for Apple. But uh, anyhow, if you just search my name, you'll find it. It's really all it is is uh, uh, there's 14 chapters, it's 14 sermons. <laughs> and hallelujah, from 37 years of preaching, I just picked out some of my sermons and, and uh, put them in book form. And uh, matter of fact, the one I preach on victory on the half acre of land is Amen. in the book. Amen. And uh, so you might want to get copy of it because I know a lot of you have been talking about that yes. that message all week long. Praise That's God. Right. We had church around here Monday. Hey, Amen. Amen. And, uh, but uh, uh, my second book is being edited and uh, it's entitled Pentecostal Manifesto and uh, it's uh, Pentecostal type sermons that I've preached over the years and I don't know when it's going to be done. My editor, she, she does it for free so I try not to rush her too much. <laughs> <laughs> Praise God. Now, if I'd pay her, I'd be calling her and saying, hurry. Amen. But uh, she's a very generous and godly and giving person. And she's got two small children. So, amen. I said, just take your time. Praise God. Amen. She does a wonderful job. She edited my first book. And I've got enough material for about five or six more books. Wow. Hallelujah. I love to write. Praise God. And uh, it's all about getting the gospel out. That's right. That's right. Amen. 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 Uh, you can also access my sermons on the internet on Spreaker instead of Speaker. Put an R in there, Spreaker. There's over 100 of my sermons there uh, on that. Uh, maybe 150, I don't know. It's a lot. And uh, they're free on the internet. And you can listen to them. There's an app for, uh, for uh, Android phones. If you look, you go to your Play Store and you type in my name, there's a free app there where you can go right to my sermons. And uh, if you like that kind of stuff, I, I'd rather hear preaching than singing. Amen. I like good gospel singing. That's right. But I love good gospel preaching. Amen. Amen. I tell you what, I get, I'll, I'll uh, get along and I'll put old Brother Clinton in it on. Uh, you know, yeah. PH oh, yes. boy, I tell you what, I gotta get saved every time I hear it. Yes. <laughs> yes. uh, hallelujah. I'll, I'll put old Kenny Morris on or, or one of those great preachers. I tell you what, they charge my battery. Amen. Glory. So, uh, but uh, I do have some service. Some of them are more pastoral than evangelistic because uh, some of them are uh, during my time of pastoring. And, uh, and I don't know if there's a difference between the two. They tell me there is. Praise God. Hallelujah. I just love the gospel. Amen. Hallelujah. So they are. And if you want to buy a hard copy of the book, uh, you can buy that on Lulu.com and go to their store. That's uh, who published it. And you can buy a hard copy directly through there. And they'll send me whatever my part is. It's not a whole lot. Amen. But uh, but uh, if nothing else, next time I come through, I'll try to remember to bring it. Amen. Amen. I've enjoyed being here. Amen. 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 We've and you know, that. probably one of the greatest challenges that I have as an evangelist is I have to book up pretty, pretty. you have to book up to be able to stay on the road. And now this time I've got to go home. I do have a booking in Florida for Sunday. And uh, we do need to get home, though, for some other reasons that are pretty important. But is uh, the hardest challenge is you want to stay. Yeah. This has been a good revival. Hey, hey, yeah. We could easily went into a few weeks. That's right. And I, you know, Pastor and I haven't even talked about this. Right. Uh, but it could have easily, as good as it's been. That's right. Especially the earlier the, uh, for uh, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday were explosive. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Uh, we could have easily went on. And, and I'm not, uh, I'm definitely open to coming back if, if the Lord allows and the Pastor feels led that way. 
and, and, and setting aside a few weeks. Yeah. And uh, in the back of this, having Holy Ghost revival. Amen. 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 They not many churches do that anymore. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. right. Most churches, you get a Monday, you get a Sunday through Wednesday. That's yeah. right. And a lot of them are going through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday now. Yeah. Amen. Well, glory. Come on. Right. It's just Come on. not real common to have yeah. revivals, and it's certainly not common to have extended revivals. That's right. right. But I'm convinced we do need some three and four week, yeah. Yeah. six week revivals. Yeah. 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 It was a little easier to do in those days because evangelists didn't book their schedules up. They bought a one way ticket to, on a train and they would pray and say, Lord, where should I go? And the Holy Ghost would say, Go to Memphis, Tennessee. Yes. Yeah. And they'd go buy a one way ticket to Memphis, Tennessee. Not knowing a soul there, That's right. and they get off the train and get to walk through the town, uh, and somebody, the Lord would direct some pastor to meet them in the street and say, I, I, "God showed me He was coming to town to preach us a revival." That's right. Hey. That's what he used to be. And they'd preach for six, eight weeks. Yeah. Yeah. And when he got done with the revival, he said, "Lord, where do I go now?" Yep. That's right. And they'd buy another ticket to buy me Joplin, Missouri. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Hallelujah. It's a different time. Yeah. But now it's so expensive and difficult to stay. There's not many evangelists full time anymore. That's right. That's the truth. It's very hard to stay on the road full time as an evangelist. Mm -hmm. Amen. Uh, preachers like myself that don't preach the prosperity gospel and that feel good, false religion. That's right. Come on. Come on. We don't get $100,000 offerings. <laughs> Somebody. Come on. Well, glory. Amen. T.D. Jakes, he can demand, amen, $350,000 for one speaking engagement. Oh, my, my, my. That's what he asked. $350,000 to preach one one hour message. Mm. Well, glory. I wouldn't pay him 35 cents. Amen. <laughs> amen. Amen. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Come on, buddy. That's right. But it's the truth. Yeah. yeah. Anyhow, I'm not going to go there, praise God. He's your right, Lord. He's <laughs> right. As a matter of fact, he's come out in partial support of sodomite marriage. Um, come on. Come on. Well, glory. And that's how uh, yes. yeah. I'm against it. So, it is difficult. So, usually when I book up, uh, and I'm going to be gone two or three months, I book it up yeah, week after week after week after week. And I like to keep my appointments, you know, because they've advertised some of them in newspapers and, and uh, they've called their family and they've called their relatives and everybody, you know, the church I'm going to in Marietta, Florida, Sunday, I preached two or three revivals there. And I've been there in a, in a while. They're so excited. Hallelujah about us coming. They done told, called everybody. Amen. We're just coming Sunday morning, Sunday night. Amen. I would feel terrible when I call them and say, I'm sorry, I'm not going to be able to make it. I would. <laughs> The Lord said to you. Amen. Amen. Well, glory. But it would still be very disappointing for them. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And I, so anyhow, pray for us. Amen. Amen. We want to do the will of God. That's right. And boy, I do want to preach the long meetings. I, matter of fact, I prayed earlier in this meeting, God, I don't know if you're doing something, you got to tell me what to do. Amen. Because, uh, you know, I, I, I told you, I do have a business at home, and the boys are in, in a bad way. Uh, my sons run the business. And they need they need my help bad. <laughs> they're they're uh, they're under strain. <laughs> they've been working from five in the morning to eight or nine at night. Mercy. Hallelujah. They need some help bad. I told them, well, I'll get there as quick as I can, but I'm, I've got to do the will of God. That's right. right. Hallelujah. So pray for us. We Amen. love you, man. I made some great, great friends here Amen. this week. All of you, please don't forget us. And uh, keep in touch. I'm on Facebook. You can send me a Facebook request. If you if you don't like straight talk, you might not want to send me one. Because <laughs> I do. I am straight. I'm a straight talker. And I don't mind rebuking sin. Amen. But Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. But I would love to have you as a friend. Hallelujah. And uh, and if I say something that stings a little bit, just pray about it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. All right. My wife can testify and say. I thank the Lord for this week. I have really enjoyed this. And 
enjoy getting to know everybody. I, you know, one of the hardest things about going out and preaching is I meet, I make friends, and then I have to leave them. And then sometimes I don't get to see them again. Sometimes it may be years, sometimes it may be two years. But I really, I love it. I miss my family, miss my kids, most of all my grandkids. <laughs> But I thank God for it. You know, I kept going through my songs tonight. Couldn't really make up my mind, but I kept going back to this one. This revival has just been like the type of revival that a lot of things have been laid down. That's right. A lot of things have been, we've sacrificed a lot of things. Right. And one of my favorite songs right now is, is when I lay my eyes it down. You know, uh, God asks us to lay down some things sometimes. Yeah. And sometimes it's not easy. You know, he asked Abraham to lay his son down. He did save his son's life. But he wanted to see if Abraham was willing to do what he asked him to do. Y'all pray for me.